This right here is the Logitech K600 wireless and Bluetooth keyboard. It's a really, really handy all-in-one keyboard and mouse trackpad combo. So what do I think of it and why am I getting one? Well, stick around to find out. It's TechWiz time. Hey guys, Jonathan here with TechWiz time where I create technology reviews and tutorials. In this video in particular, I'm reviewing the K600 Logitech wireless Bluetooth keyboard. Now before I get into anything more, I just wanted to show you quickly, I just recorded before I, um, I put this all together, I recorded a little clip of the unboxing process because I found it quite interesting. So cue the clip. So before I actually get on with the review of the Logitech K600, I wanted to show you what the unboxing experience was like because when I had first had a look inside, I was like, wow, that, that's really interesting. So come along for the ride. So you open it up, and first things first, is you've got a number one there, and that's for the Logitech receiver. So you can pull that out, and put that aside. Then you've got a little instruction set there on how to actually pair it and so forth. So, you can pull that out. There we go. So that's it there. Maybe that's a better angle. And I just thought that was really, really interesting. And then it says here, step three is required to enable the navigation keys. So it's actually got a sticker under there, but also you pull tab for your battery, which I thought was really, really cool. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the unboxing experience before I actually did the review. How awesome is that? Okay, so now that we're back from that, I'm really impressed with the unboxing of this. Like it had all the instructions in there, had a very simple, easy to use guide. And also, I'm gonna show you a video in a second of the actual process of going through that third step to activate these keys down here. Now, really, really simple, and it's all done through their website. So yeah, kudos to Logitech, it was really, really good. So first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go to case 600 setup logy.com. So once you've gone there, just go through all the steps. It's very, very simple and easy to use. Eventually you'll get to a step there where you need to hold down the function key and a number. Okay, that will tell the keyboard that you are actually using it or tell the, yeah, tell the website and the keyboard that you're actually using it properly. And one of these numbers here, probably number one, has a little LED light behind it and that'll start flashing. So if you see that, you know, you're all good to go. And from there, you can actually hook this up via uh, the Logitech options software that they've got there. And then you can customize a few things with there, like scrolling and so forth. I, I don't mind the Logitech options software. It's actually really nice. And yeah, I don't have an issue with it at all. It doesn't have everything, but it's simple to use. And for most people, that's, that's good enough. Okay, so since we've already gone through all the setup of it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you couple of the features of it. So on the back here is where the power on and power off button is. Okay. On underneath here, where the batteries get stored, you can also store your unifying receiver. Now this is handy if you're only going to be using the Bluetooth function of the keyboard. And that brings me next to the Bluetooth function. So key one, two, and three allows you to switch between three different devices. Now this is in particular why I myself was very interested in the K600 because I can link this to my Windows PC, my 2012 Mac mini, and also if I need to, my Nvidia Shield TV box. So all those all can be connected to the one keyboard and you can switch it just by holding down the number for about three seconds, I believe, and then it'll switch to that device. How awesome is that? So that's the main reason that I was getting the K600 is because of multi-device usability. Now, the keyboard itself, I've got a couple of wireless and Bluetooth keyboards and they're fine, but I wanted the trackpad. And that's important because I didn't want to have to lug around an extra mouse and keyboard, an extra mouse and keyboard. Yeah, no, no, I just mean, one keyboard and one mouse, this is all in one. So that's why I wanted this because it was a lot simpler to use and 
the Bluetooth functionality of switching between three devices. So now that I've talked about Bluetooth, the other features that I wanted to talk about is the actual trackpad itself. Now the trackpad is really nice and smooth. In North America, I believe there, it's actually gray or a dark gray or black. Um, in Australia and Asia regions, I believe it's the, yeah, the lighter white, sort of light gray look. Anyway, the, the trackpad is really, really nice. It feels nice and smooth underneath the fingers. Um, it also has a clicky. So if, an, as an example, <clears throat> You've got a left click under there, but what you can do is over this side, you've got your left click button up here and your right click button down here. Now, one of the things that I like about this is that the left click is raised, whereas the right click is not raised. So you can feel the difference between both of them. So if you're holding them in your hand like this, you can use your thumb to control the left and right click which is pretty awesome. The next step is if you're using something like the Nvidia Shield or even hooking this up to a TV, which it is compatible with a couple of TVs, you can use these directional pads up here to go through and select the options and then press the middle button to select. So that's a lot easier than using the arrow keys. It just, it feels and looks like a remote control. So yeah, that's a really nice feature, I think. So as well as being able to use it on a TV and a Windows PC, you can also use this on a Mac. And I like how what they've done down here is they've got the option key or start key um, printed on the key itself. So you can tell that like if you're using Windows, you, you can press that for start. Or if you're using a Mac, it's for the option key or command is over here instead of alt. So that's awesome. Now I've just bought a 2012 Mac mini uh, for this exact reason and I can use this on there without having to worry about switching up to an actual Mac keyboard. I, I can use this quite comfortably without any issues. So the other thing with the quick access keys down the side here, you've got the home button, you've got a back button, you've got a task switcher, or you've got a search button. So these four here are set up via the software itself. Um, you do need to set that up in Logitech options on what you want to do with those things, but if you're hooking it up to a Windows PC, generally if you press home, it'll open up your Edge browser. Um, back, it'll go back, task switcher and search. So yeah, it's fairly basic on a Windows PC. Um, on other devices, it will do different things. So just be aware of that. And now a couple other things, the weight of it, it it's actually a weighty little keyboard. It's not like the, the light older keyboards. There's, there's a bit of componentry in this. Uh, it's not something that you're going to drop and think, oh yeah, it'll be all right. It's, um, yeah, it's got a bit of heft to it, which I, I like. It, it doesn't feel like it's just a piece of plastic. The other thing as well is the keys itself. Now I'll, I'll hold it up to my lavalier mic. They're not that noisy at all. Like the, obviously it's a membrane keyboard underneath. It's not mechanical or anything like that. But the actual noise that, are that is generated from the keys is very, very minimal. There's, there's not much there at all. So if you're watching a movie or anything like that and you have just switched it up to start typing on a tablet or something like that through Bluetooth, then you're not gonna disturb anyone else watching the movie at all. Like it, it's a really nice, quiet keyboard. So with all those things said, would I recommend this keyboard? 100%. I have had a few of the Logitech keyboards and by far, this one is my favorite. Like I mentioned before, the main reason that I actually got this keyboard was because of the keyboard and trackpad in one, as well as the Bluetooth functionality, being able to switch between three different devices. So for me, that's the perfect device for what I need. If it's something that you are looking for for just one device, it may not be the best option. If it's for a TV, it's definitely a great option. If it's for using between multiple devices, it's definitely a great option. If you're looking at it just for a tablet, uh, there are some other options out there like the K480, I believe. Um, it doesn't have a trackpad or anything like that with it, but the keyboard itself is, is really good. Actually, one second. This is the K480, so. This one's a hefty one as well. You can see there that your device just slots in there and the keys, you'll actually notice the keys are actually 
a lot louder on this one, hence why I said with the K600, it's a lot quieter. Yeah, these, these are definitely a lot noisier, but if you're just looking for a single device, then the K480 will do. If you're looking for multi-device or using it on a TV or Android TV box or anything like that, then the K600 is definitely the way to go. Thanks for checking out my K600 Logitech Wireless Bluetooth Keyboard Review. That was a little bit of a mouthful. Um, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you're not a subscriber, then make sure you do. And also hit that bell notification icon so that way you can get notified whenever I let release a new video. I've got links for this down in the description below as well. So if you want to check it out on Amazon or eBay or anything like that, you can find them down there. And as always, imagine, learn, create.